Good morning. Uh, morning, church. Let's come together, find our seats. Paul, it's me. Well, I am Keaton, and happy to be here. Welcome to his place. We're going to have a good Sunday. I've got a good feeling. All right, so uh, like I do sometimes, I want to start with a little bit about me. <laughs> so in our family, we write in a daily diary in first person for our boys. It's a thing we do. So uh, that's the little backstory. So our, our family took a week-long Disneyland vacation here recently and had an absolute blast. Um, and when the week was through and everyone headed home, uh, our son Walt and I stayed behind for an additional week of adventuring through Southern California, of which we had another amazing time. Uh, but one of those days, Walt and I went to Knott's Berry Farm theme park, uh, and I'd like to read you an ex excerpt from Walt's diary on that day, <laughs> if you'll let me. This is Walt, age almost three. Dad drove us to Knott's Berry Farm for a fun day. I visited a cowboy who's been stuck in jail there for 75 years. <laughs> Ran through tunnels, watched a Wild West stunt show, and went on lots of rides. Dad took me to the bathroom, uh, and while he was cleaning the toilet seat for me to use, I peed my pants to be funny. But then it wasn't very funny, because it was 90 degrees, and I was very sticky and miserable. <laughs> All my screaming and kicking couldn't even make things better. <laughs> Although I fought it, Dad brought me to an air-conditioned restaurant to cool down. My meltdown subsided, and back to rides. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a little, a little bit of the day in the life in Walt. Man! Man, kids can provide a renewed appreciation for God's patience with us. <laughs> In the midst of a theme park-like quantity of blessings, it's so easy just to disregard everything, and we do that so often, uh, that God's doing for us, and just complain incessantly about the things so minimal, and that we're often totally avoidable, if not for our own sin. Uh, so let's all say together, Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord. For, your for your gargantuan patience. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. Steve, come on up. So greet him with me. Morning, Steve. Morning, Steve. Uh, Steve leads our prison ministry. And what I'm supposed to do this one? Oh, no, right here. No. I, got, I got it. Anyway, Steve, let's hear what you got. Morning, family. They want to see you. <laughs> uh, not many of the cowboys I go to see have been there for 75 years. <laughs> but a, a few of them are that old. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, Christmas time and the holidays is often the darkest time of the year for these guys. Many of them, uh, unfortunately, are just reduced to a bad memory inconvenience, uh, an embarrassment. But we can make a difference, and we did uh, last year. For the first time, our church joined with a couple of other churches in Everett to buy some Christmas gift bags uh, to sponsor them. Uh, they contain a few toiletry items, stuff that they have to buy themselves, uh, bar soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, things like that. Uh, They also can contain and do a pocket calendar, a couple of pencils, some cookies, hard candy. Uh, so they really have become a special treat, special holiday treat for these guys that they really look forward to. And you know, they don't know about where they come from. The only thing they know about is that they come from followers of Christ. So uh, last year, his place hit it out of the park. We, we did uh, wonderfully provided the bonus in every Christmas gift bag of a bottle of shampoo, which they don't get. Uh, 
the catch is that the Department of Corrections requires every gift bag, 2550 something, uh, be exactly the same, and that every guy gets one. So uh, this morning we're going to be in the back set up to um, receive whatever support you guys want to provide for that. So they, uh, the bags cost about five dollars to put put one together. So to sponsor a bag, five bucks. Thanks for your support. That's great. Say thanks, Steve. I'll take it. And come on up, Dave. Swap you out. All right. Say morning, Dave. Morning, church. Good to be here. Like, like myself, I uh, feel I work with a bunch of cowboys or deal with a bunch of cowboys, <laughs> which is fun. But I'm here to uh, talk about the vets group. This quarter, we're having our potluck again. It's been a quarter, I should say. So I'd like to invite all the vets, their families, a good time for socialization. I like to get out there. We have our monthly meetings, but this is a time for bring our families together and enjoy each other's camaraderie, which I appreciate. And, you know, I appreciate the fact that we speak our own dialect of English. You know, we talk about bivouac, where if you don't know, that's just making a lean-to, putting poles together, putting leaves, branches, one-man tents, whatever it takes to get out of the shelter. Other people just call it camping. <laughs> so please come on out. Uh, we have a special guest speaker. Pastor Nono will be there. And it's at the end of the month. Hope to see you there. Awesome. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. All right, let's see what else our family's been up to. We've got some pictures. Doug Rickard has a had a milestone birthday on Friday. And this Tuesday, Wes Miller will also be celebrating a milestone. Combined, these guys are turning 150 years old. So happy 75th birthdays, Doug and Wes. And let's welcome new members Aaron and Barbara Hudson who recently committed themselves to our church family here at His Place after going through the membership process. Uh, so we want to give this couple a great big His Place welcome. All right, who's ready to worship Jesus? Let's do it. Father God, thank you. Thank you for this time to worship you. We thank you for Jana's successful surgery and continued healing and we ask for your comfort and healing for Marita, Larry, and both their families as they begin their healing processes. And as we look beyond our community, we ask you to provide the comfort only you can give to the victims and first responders of the California wildfires. And Lord, please bless the worship this morning and be with my dad as he delivers your word to us. We love you so much and thank you for your patience in our lives. And everyone said, amen. Amen. 